In this video I'm going to talk about the structure of plane hunt and introduce the idea of place notation. Compare the diagrams for all six bells. Notice that in plane hunt all the bells do the same thing. They all hunt up to the back, lie, hunt down to the front, lead and repeat. They're all doing the same thing but they start from a different point. Here I've drawn the diagram for plane hunt twice as if for the treble bell but this pattern applies to all the bells. Think first about the two and look at its diagram. If you were the two bell you would start here in the pattern. If you were ringing the three you would start here. Notice that in plane hunt all the odd numbered bells start by hunting up whereas the even numbered bells start by hunting down. The four is an even number so it hunts down first. Bell five goes up first and the six hunts down first. Now I'm going to draw all the bells into the diagram once through. As you've seen, in plane hunt all the bells are doing the same thing and they make this very regular pattern. The pattern can be described concisely by using place notation. Place notation describes how all the bells change their position from one change to the next. In place notation this entire pattern is written cross one six. Let's look at the first two rows in the diagram and the movement of the bells between them. You can see that the first two bells swap places with each other. The next pair of bells also cross over and so do the five and six. When every pair of bells swaps places in this way, it is described using a cross in place notation. So we can describe what happens in the first change as simply cross. Now let's think about what happens between the second and third rows. The bell that's in first's place stays where it is, it's leading. The bell at the back also stays where it is, it's lying. The bell in second's place crosses with the one in third's place and the bells in four and five also cross. So we have two, two bells staying where they are and two pairs crossing. In place notation, where there are bells that are staying put, you can simply mention those bells because it's understood that all the others cross. So this change is described as 1-6, meaning that the bells in firsts and sixths place stay where they are and all the other others cross with their adjacent bells. Looking at the next change, the first pair cross, the second pair cross and the third pair cross. So this is another cross. The next change is the same as the second, a 1-6. If we were to carry on in this way through the whole diagram, you'd find that in plain hunt there are only these two types of changes and we alternate between them, cross 1-6, cross 1-6. The entire pattern can be described simply by saying cross 1-6. So you can see how place notation is a very concise way of describing what happens. Here's what plain hunt sounds like on six handbells. So far we've been looking at plain hunt on six bells 
but you can ring it on other numbers of bells and the pattern is much the same. Here's plain hunt on four. The place notation is cross one four because there are only four bells, so in this case the four represents lying at the back. Here's a video of plain hunt on four handbells. It feels quite different in terms of the rhythm. We count one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, gap, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, gap. Okay. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> right. Here's plain hunt on eight. You can probably guess by now that the place notation is cross one eight. And here's what it sounds like. You can hear eight bells, but you can only see six of them because I'm ringing computerized bells. You can also ring plain hunt on odd numbers of bells, but that's a topic for another video.